Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedy up back with another Dokkan battle video. So, about a week ago, I made this video slash guide talking about some general strategies and team building for the new category Super Battle Road stages, right? And a big part of this video was highlighting just how important, how key support items are to your success in this event, especially bringing the right support items, it makes a big, big difference. But recently, I realized that while I told you guys which items are good, which items can help you in this event, I didn't really talk about where you can get your hands on each of these items, which um, I think is a pretty important thing that I forgot, so that's my bad. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly where you can get what are, in my opinion, the best support items to help you in your Super Battle Road runs. And before we get started guys, one quick thing I wanted to do was give a big shout out to Reddit user uh, Ekaroto or Echaroto, not 100% sure how to say that, but this user made this post yesterday and it inspired me to make this video and also reminded me where some items were, so it was a big, big help. Thank you so much to Ekaroto for that. And without further ado guys, let's get started with the future Gohan and future Trunks event called uh, Hope Fight Against Despair, The Last Super Warriors, Gohan and Trunks. Now, for a lot of these events, you will have to use the Portal of Memories, which means you will have to use keys, uh, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe sometimes, like depending on when you're watching this video, some of them will be active, so you won't have to, but for the most part, uh, you will have to use keys, all right? So for this event, it's actually a freaking gold mine, guys. Four good support items for Super Battle Road because you can get a total of three top tier items. Starting with the first one, all the way down on stage number 10, level 10 here, we have the Android 8 item. And this item is amazing for two reasons. Number one, it's a 70% heal to your HP, but number two, it's also a defensive item giving you 50% defense for two turns. So uh, super, super useful, uh, heals you and also gives you defense. And I use this on every single super battle run that I personally do. So uh, I love this item and you can get it on level 10 of this event. And of course, I do recommend to run it on the hardest difficulty for uh, the most number of drops. So run it on Z hard, stage 10 Z hard for the Android 8 item. And then next up is level 11. And the second item here is the future Bulma support item. And she is also a healing item. I believe she's also 70% heal, but she actually gives you attack for two turns. And I think it's a 25% boost to attack. So she's more of an offensive oriented item. It really depends on how you want to play it defensively or offensively. So if you want to be a little bit more defensive, go with the Android 8. If you want to be a little bit more offensive, then go with the Bulma and uh, she's acquired on level 11 of the future Gohan and Trunks event and once again, run it on Z hard. And for level 12, we have one of the best defensive items in the game, which is the Icarus. And uh, once again, Z hard. And this item gives you a 35% damage reduction for two turns, which is super, super key. I always bring either this or the Whis for my run, sometimes both. So uh, definitely an item you want to have a lot of if you do plan to do a lot of Super Battle Road runs. So that is the future Gohan and Trunks event, guys. Like I said, a gold mine for good support items. And uh, also for stage two, you can farm gravity chambers, which is also awesome. Uh, not related to what we're talking about, but side note. So uh, yeah, awesome, awesome event overall. Probably one of the best events in this game, if I'm being honest. And uh, next up, we have the uh, new threat, the Saiyan Warrior Race event. And on this event, you can acquire... Well, you can also acquire some Icarus on uh, level 4, but I believe the other stage or the level other events is actually better for Icarus. And uh, the main thing you want to get here is... Princess Snake and on level 5 is where you can get the Princess Snake so I believe the way it works is that yeah you can fight these guys these uh, minions I'm not I don't remember exactly what their names are but you guys get the point uh, the red demon guy oh god oh there you go so it's Gauze or Goes and this guy's name is Mez so Goes and Mez Probably pronouncing that wrong, my bad guys. I didn't really pay attention to these characters <laughs> while I watched the show. But uh, yeah, fight these guys on stage five, level five for um, up to two times Princess Snake. And she is a healing item and also a damage reduction item. So she gives you 55% HP 
and a 30% reduction to damage received for uh, for one turn, for one turn. So, you know, not as good as Icarus as far as uh, defense goes, not as good as the uh, other two items, the Future Bulma and the eight, uh, Android 8 as far as HP goes, but it's more of a combination item and uh, it can be really useful as well. I always bring a Princess Snake um, in most of my runs. Usually my setup is Princess Snake, Android 8, uh, Whis, and... Uh, did I say Android 8 already? I think Icarus. I think that's usually my usual loadout. Yeah, two healing, two defensive. So there you go. And that is what you're getting on this event here, the Princess Snake on stage five. And next up is the Resurrection F event. And in this event, you are picking up what is in my opinion, the best defensive item in the entire game. And that would be the Whis item right here on level 13. So on level 13, you can get up to three Whises per run, running on Z-Hard, of course. And Whis is basically Icarus, except with a 5% additional damage reduction. So Icarus gives you 35% damage reduction for two turns. Whis gives you 40% damage reduction for two turns. Just an amazing, amazing defensive item, and it can save your ass. I mean, save my ass so many times, and I'm sure it will save yours too. So. Definitely pick up a few of those before you do your Super Battle Road runs. And there's also the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga Finale event. And this one, you're just going to stage one. And there are no fights in this one. It's basically just like a little board game thing. Basically, what you have to do is land on the third question mark on each of the little segments of the stage. And if you do that, you can get up to a maximum of two Nurse Chi Chi's per run on Z Hard. And it's the exact same tiles every single time and this item is absolutely amazing once again it's a huge debuff of 74 percent to the enemy's attack and defense for one turn which essentially makes them hit you for double digits that turn and you also can do a lot more damage to them that turn too so uh yeah really useful i bring this item a lot too when i have them i'm just kind of lazy sometimes i don't want to farm them but uh, it is really, really useful. So those are the story events I wanted to cover in today's video. And I mean, there's one last one actually, and you guys should know about this. Of course, Genius Balma's Battle Prep, where you can get a bunch of other useful items like, uh, well, you can also get Icaruses, you can get Weeses, you can also get uh, King Yemas, uh, you can get Babas, uh, you can get Ghost Ushers. Those are all super, super useful but um, it's kind of random what you're getting for each run, right? Whereas for the other story stages that I talked about, you can get exactly what you want uh, want to farm for that specific stage, right? So it's more useful that way if you want just Icaruses, or you want just Weeses, or you want just like Android 8s, right? But uh, once again, this event is of course very, very useful for farming support items too. So if you are just missing a ton of support items at once, then do the Genius Balmos Battle Prep, and uh, you should be able to stock up um, very well that way too. So uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video, guys. I didn't want to make this video too long, but I felt like it was important that I made it and put it out there so that you guys have this information at your disposal. And real quick before you go, let me know in the comments down below if you feel like there were any items that I missed because there are some other really good items for Super Battle Road that I didn't cover, but these are, in my opinion, the best items for the event and the ones that I like to bring, so that's why I talked about them. And uh, yeah, if you guys found this video useful in some way, if it helped you in any way at all, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. And that's it guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.